Buying Land and Sandbox Step-by-Step -step Tutorial Welcome back to Metaverse. In today's video, we'll discuss about the sandbox and show you how to buy land in step-by-step. -step. So if you're interested to learn, please keep on watching. What is the Sandbox? The Sandbox is a virtual metaverse where players can play, build their own, and monetize their experiences. They empower artists, creators, and players to build the platform. They have always envisioned providing the means to unleash their creativity within the game of Sandbox. There will be a ton of different experiences that users will be able to play. These experiences can include games, events, parties, and other little adventures that will be able to be played within the sandbox. All the experiences that will be made available within the sandbox will be created by the users playing it. This is what they call user-generated content. So the users are the builders, building out the games, building out the events, building out the structures that will be located within the sandbox. This is one of the very early startups of what a metaverse will end up being and here in the future. It is a voxelized version of the metaverse, as you can see which kind of looks similar to what Minecraft looks like. But what is the difference here is that this is created onto the blockchain and all the assets that will be available within the game, such as the avatars and the in-game assets, such as swords, clothing as well as the land and structures you will see, will be NFTs and that provides to digital ownership of your asset. What is land? A land is a digital piece of real estate in the sandbox metaverse that will allow players to build experiences. On top of it, once an individual owns a piece of land, they will be able to populate it with games and different assets. Each one of these plots of lands is a unique NFT, a non-fungible token that is based on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, in a moment, we'll discuss some of the experiences and use cases for these plots of land, as well as what you may build on top of them. So within the sandbox, there will be only one, 166,464 of these plots of land that will ever exist. Now this graphic was posted back earlier in November, so it might have changed just a little bit. Since the land within the sandbox has become exploding, but these statistics should be relatively close, there's currently 12,000 landowners that currently occupy all these pieces of land. Within the sandbox, within all of these pieces of land, that total value should estimate just over $500 million. And just in 2021 alone, there has been over $80 million that has been conducted in land sales and one-on-one -on -one plots of land. In the sandbox is 96 by 96 meters, and one meter is equivalent to 32 by 32 voxels. So that should give you a clear vision of how big these plots of land land are within this sandbox. Now, what we know what a land is, let's speak about the elements that influence the value of these plots of land within the sandbox. There are four factors that influence the value of land and they are the location of land, its size, scarcity, and the game's popularity. Value Factor 1 Location of land. The location is going to play a crucial role in determining the value of the piece of land. Is the land located in the propolis area? Is there a lot of people, a lot of traffic entering this location or somewhere near around it? And is the plot of land located to a very prominent and popular experiences? So at that time of this recording, there hasn't been a public release of the sandbox just yet. So we're not able to see some of the experiences that are going to be happening within the sandbox but what we can see if we take a look at the map right the map of all the lands that we own those plots of land we can see some of the people's profiles and see exactly who owns these plots of land within the sandbox and some people may speculate that there might be some great experiences for example the walking dead will be building here or atari will be building here as well as we can take a look at this map and to determine how many experiences and potential good experiences will be built in a certain location within the sandbox and it's possible to some of these plots of land it might cost more since they're located to some very prominent individuals or brands. 
For example, if The Walking Dead, we're able to build out a very prominent and popular experience or game. The land that surrounds it may be also getting an appreciation and a value because there is a lot of people that are attending this portion of land within the game. So there may be more traffic, more eyeballs rolling through the specific location of land within the sandbox that might cause some of these other lands to appreciate and value as well as generally the center of the map has been very very popular spot for seeing some very high land sales. But we can see at the bottom right of these maps we're seeing a lot of people building out experiences. Here as well as see the location of a plot of land within the sandbox is absolutely huge depending on what you're going to want to do with your piece of land. Depending whether you want to build a game and experience a party or an event, you're gonna want a lot of people circulating around the area and the value of the land near a place that has a lot of popularity is the most likely to be more expensive than a place that doesn't have much traction. So that is something we very yes building within the metaverse because the experience is very popular that means that the land around it is most likely going to be popular as well. Value factor number two size of land. If we hop back into the map of the sandbox we can see different sizes of plots of land. We can see these individual was one of one plots and then we can see what are called estates. These estates are more significant pieces of land and the larger the piece of land is, the more likely it is to have a more value. Depending on the size of land, it will help builders and developers create larger experiences. So a larger experience will be able to be built on this plot of land. Rather than a one-on-one -on -one plot of land, we can see here and that might contribute to better experiences. More revenue generated from the experience or game and other things as well as these factors of value is fairly simple to explain. Just think of it as bigger is usually always better. Value 3 and 4 Scarcity and Game Popularity Now these two coincide with one another so as we stated previously there is only going to be a total of 166,446 plots of land within the sandbox that will ever be made available so that in itself adds scarcity to those assets and depending on the popularity of the game there might be more demand that might drive up value of those plots of land so let's say that the sandbox is able to accumulate a million daily active users within the game since there's only around 160,000 plots of land within the sandbox. Those plots of land are going to be higher in demand, causing those assets to potentially rise in value. Now on the flip side of that, if there is no one to play the sandbox if there's not a lot of people entering these experiences, there isn't that much value adding to those plots of land because no one is using it. So the demand for those plots of land will go down and people who own those plots of land may have to price their plots of land at a lower price to stay competitive. So the success of the sandbox as well as the popularity of the game is going to play a crucial role in determining the value of some of these plots of land. Land Use Cases for the use cases for these pieces of land, we will be talking about five different things. With the plots of land, you could potentially build out a business. You can host an event or a party. You can end up creating a game or different types of experiences, as well as using this plot of land as your very own home. To go more in-depth in, let's talk about the business aspects of this use case of first, an individual who owns a plot of land could potentially create a business out of it. It could be a business that contributes value to the players, playing the sandbox such an item shop, an NFT shop, or something else entirely. We have events and parties which you can actually have exclusive invites to. One example is the party of Snoop Dogg is going to be hosted within the sandbox and you will only be able to access that part of your event which by having Snoop Dogg party pass and you could party pass is an NFT and that could also be a business as well. A lot of these things can potentially generate revenue for yourself. 
moving forward on these plots of land, we are definitely gonna see a lot of games and different experiences being built out on top of it. There's gonna be some of so many different games that you're just gonna be able to have fun with. And you'll be able to play from the creators that own those pieces of land. There are developers and builders right now creating games that players will be able to have access to and potentially by beating one of those games. You may be able to win and create NFT or SAND, which is the cryptocurrency token for the sandbox, as well as for creator to the creator may exchange something that to access that certain experience of your game as well. Creator another revenue source for the creator and builder on that piece of land. And the next is the final thing. We will talk about is this, this could be your very own home. Within the metaverse, a lot of people, these people are going to use their pots of land as their very own place to represent themselves within the metaverse. Think of it as your very own room. You want to put some stuff in and that's going to represent yourself and this is going to be an extremely cool way to have friends come over to your place. Check out this NFTs you own as well as hang out and talk of some of the other NFT friends within the metaverse and an added bonus of these use cases that you could potentially do on a piece of land. You can actually rent out some of these plots of land to creators and builders that are out there. If you just own a piece of land and you're not sure what to do with it and you don't know how to develop or design anything within the sandbox, you can actually rent out that piece of land to creators and builders that want to create experiences within that plot of land. It's going to be crazy. This is going to earn and turn those like real estate stuff that we actually see exist in the real world. And those are a lot of different use cases of plots of land that could have within the sandbox box. How to build experiences on land. To those that are watching this video that want to create and do stuff with their piece of land within the sandbox, what you can do is to go to their website and go to the left hand side. You're gonna see something called create. Once you click on that page, we'll open that will show you tools that the sandbox offers that allows you to build your own land as well as create NFTs, assets for the sandbox. The tools are also called Game Maker Box Edit. And then then we have Avatar. The game maker and the Vox Edit are extremely user friendly and require no coding experiences to get started. Where to buy plots of land? There's only two places to buy these plots of land currently and that is going to be the marketplace located on the Sandbox website as well as OpenSea. Now let's first talk about the marketplace located on the Sandbox website. On the left hand side, when you go to the Sandbox's website, you're going to see five different options. Home market, create map and about you're going to want to click market and then you're going to want to select the lands right here. And it will show you the lands that are up for sale or you can currently bid on at the moment. You can sort by lowest price, highest price of newest listings or oldest listings. Here on OpenSea, you can buy plots of lands as well. So if you scroll down here, go to the sandbox official OpenSea page. You're going to see a lot of these plots of lands that are currently listed on OpenSea at the moment. It will provide you an NXY coordinate on where these plots of land are located so we can see it provides us a general location of where this plot of land is located and where you're going to want to do to see the exact location of where this plot of land is currently located on the map to look at just what other experiences currently surround it what you're going to want to do is to take a look at the coordinates right here which is the 32 negative 190 go back to the map of sandbox click on any plot of land currently and we can see in the url you can actually plug in the coordinates of a specific plot of land so in our case it is going to be a 32 right 32 negative 190 and then that plot of land will load exactly for us right here and we can see that the plot of land is currently located in this location which is surrounded by a lot of other really unique experiences and what 
you could possibly do. Done. If you were interested in that specific plot of land, you could have clicked by now or make an offer for a bid and purchase that plot of land within the sandbox. And that was basically a tutorial on where and how you could buy plots of land within the sandbox. So, what are your thoughts about this tutorial? Do you think this video is useful? Please let me know by leaving a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you on our next video.